Welcome to Tying Michigan's Best Trout Flies. Uh, this is going to be a relatively brief session. We're not going to do any actual tying today, but just to announce the winner of the fly naming contest and uh, make a couple of uh, pattern clarifications on some things that you may have already seen videos on. But first of all, the winner of the contest is a gentleman named Tony DeFrancisco. He hails from Michigan. And the name that he submitted that is the winner is the Wolverine. So from now on, it's going to be the, the Wolverine Paradon. And I'm creating a, an entire series of them with specific names. Brown Drake, Iso, uh, Hendrickson, Sulphur, Slash, PMD, Olive, and Efron, or the White Fly. So yeah, your winner is Tony DeFrancisco, uh, the winning name submitted was Wolverine and, and Tony's got his uh, hackle and he's informed me that he's in the process of tying some Wolverine parachutes with the hackle that I sent him. So Now I just wanted to uh, give some pattern clarification on a couple of patterns that we did videos on a while back. The first one is uh, Regan's uh, hex spinner and uh, for those of you who don't know who Jerry is, Jerry is the acknowledged dean of Michigan Fly Tires. He's been at it for a long time and is, there's no doubt he's the single most knowledgeable person regarding uh, Michigan Fly Patterns. And, and his pattern, I mentioned in the video that uh, we really weren't sure about the origin of it, uh, neither myself nor Jerry himself. And uh, in uh, subsequent conversations, he's since informed me that he really feels like it, it's it's his pattern because he's done enough over over the years to tweak it to to call it uh, his own and take credit as the originator of it. So a little bit of clarification on the Regan's hex spinner, that nice uh, parachute hex spinner. The other one I wanted to clarify a little bit was the uh, Borcher's parachute. Uh, over the years, uh, there's been some misunderstandings about the origin of that particular style of the pattern. Now, the original was done by Ernie Borchers, and it wasn't a parachute pattern. Uh, but some have said on different sites that it came into being, uh, the parachute that is, came into being in the late 60s, and so-and-so was credited with it. But that's, those things are, are not true. I know that because I am the originator of the Borchers parachute. And it came about in 1983 when I was working at a fly shop in uh, downtown Grayling, owned by Bob Smock, who was a pretty good tire himself, and a, and a Michigan style tire, of course. And we were talking about the Borchers special, the original pattern. And uh, during the course of this conversation, I said, Bob, I said, why, why couldn't we tie that as a parachute? And he said, well, there's no reason that you couldn't. And we had a tying station set up in the store. It was right in front of one of the big plate glass windows so the passers-by could watch uh, me tie flies when I wasn't busy. So right after that conversation, I went over and tied the first Borcher's parachute. We started selling it out of the shop that year. And by the next year, there were a number of shops around northern Michigan carrying that pattern. And it has since become uh, one of the most popular patterns in, in Michigan. And I had no idea at that time it was going to take off like that, and I didn't pay much attention to it. But yeah, the uh, Borchers parachute, the parachute style of that fly was done by me, and it was 1983. So it's, uh, that style is only, only, I say, about uh, 37 years old. So, so just some pattern clarification, and if any of those sorts of things come up in the future, I'll be happy to update you on those as well. But for now, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you the next time.